Hey guys, what is going on? It's Hamish and I wanted to make a very quick video on how to add this back button to your Shopify product page, which will take you back to your homepage. So this is really, really good for certain people who want to sell, um, you know, different things or, you know, it's a good way to get them back to this featured collection so that they can keep shopping. If they don't like a particular product, it gives them a good out to go into a new product, etc., etc. So this is what it looks like with it and let's very quickly go through how to actually do this so i'm going to start from the absolute basics what you want to do is you want to go to where you can customize your um, theme and you want to click actions and edit code this is supposed to be a very very beginner friendly tutorial so what we want to do is we want to type in main dash product and there's only one that we're interested in which is main product dot liquid and then you want to click inside here and press Control F. So let me just make it bigger by clicking this button. Click inside the uh, code editor and then press Control F and just type in the word section and press Enter. And as you can see, oh, I've already added it. Oops. Uh, yours will look either something like this or it'll look a little bit different because I've been experimenting with this. But don't worry too much. Just look for where it says section class page width and then immediately after that, just paste the code which you can find oops, in my Medium article here. Um, it will also be on the Shopify community. Uh, you can just copy this here and then put it straight into um, where it says section class equals page width. Just put it straight after. That introduces the button. And then what we want to do is going back to my Medium article and scrolling to the bottom. We want to add this bit of code to base.css. So when when you're starting out with Shopify, just use this search. It's really, really good. And as you can see, if I click on base.css, it opens this up. This time we don't need to search. Going all the way to the bottom, as you can see, I've already got this text. But I'm going to delete it and then hit save so that I can actually change it. And then I'm going to paste this from my Medium article straight into Shopify and then press save again. And then I have a back button just like before. This works on mobile, et cetera, et cetera. You can even change the text. Uh, so if I go back on main product.liquid and I look for section, which is here. If I scroll along a little bit, you can see here in black, it says back. And I'm going to put return to home page and then press save. And then if I refresh this now, it says return to home page. So you can put whatever you want there. And yeah, hope this helps some people out. I'm going to keep trying to make Shopify videos, even though, yeah, I really don't know that much about Shopify, but I'm really want to get into Shopify theme development. So yeah, I'll see you really soon with some more content and 